What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss everything going on here in our country that you need to know about on a daily basis, including money, investing, the stock market, the fourth stimulus package update, and stimulus check update. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do so. And remember that new videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will keep you up to date here with everything you need to know about on a daily basis. And also, thanks so much for hitting the like button for us down below. President Biden has promised to reform Social Security and actually increase benefits. As you can see here from this article from CNBC, and he's actually talked about this and talked about this on the campaign trail. Uh, some changes could come as soon as this year. I'll discuss this with you and I'll show you this directly here on the screen. And there's been an important change that has just happened this year, which is the increase of the poverty rate, which will directly affect a lot of people here going forward. A lot of people don't even realize this, uh, but this will have a dramatic effect on benefits going forward uh, if and when uh, some of these changes take effect here going forward. Uh, so let me show you some of this stuff here. Uh, directly on the screen here, because uh, as you can see here, President Biden has promised to reform Social Security, and there's several different bills in various stages in Congress uh, that could come to pass here, especially because it's an election year and going forward. Under Biden's proposed plan to reform and change Social Security, eligible workers who get Social Security would get a guaranteed minimum benefit equal to at least 125% of the federal poverty level. This would be a huge increase for a lot of people, and I'll go over those details here in a minute. Uh, it would be a massive, massive increase for a lot of people. People who have received benefits for at least 20 years would also get a 5% bump. And widows and widowers who receive uh, benefits would also receive 20% more per month as well. Biden also uh, proposed the measurements for an annual cost of living increases to the consumer price index for the elderly. That's also in another bill called the uh, Social Security 2100 Act which is actually in Congress right now. Uh, the main sponsor of it is John B. Larson. There's actually around 200 representatives in Congress right now that support this. So this is getting very, very close to passing. It's actually very similar to President Biden's um, proposed plan, to be honest. 125% uh, of the federal poverty level for Social Security beneficiaries. And it would actually, as you can see here, cut taxes, strengthen benefits, and ensure Social Security through this century. So we'll actually increase Social Security benefits. I'll tell you how much here in a minute because I'll bust out the calculator and I'll show you. But it will actually make Social Security stronger and uh, make it last longer, believe it or not. I know it sounds kind of crazy, uh, but you can see here why. To pay for these higher benefits, President Biden would apply Social Security payroll taxes to those making $400,000 and up. Okay. Uh, in 2021, it's now been actually increased in 2022. Workers generally pay 6.2% of Social Security tax on up to $142,800 of wages, okay? And after $142,000 of wages, they stop paying it. That's because that's the maximum you can earn on Social Security. You've maxed out what you can earn for that year, okay? That's the maximum earnings, okay? Earnings between, uh, under this proposed plan, earnings between $142,000 and $400,000 would not be subject to uh, levies under this plan, uh, though that gap would eventually close over time because every year uh, that number goes up a little bit. Okay, so uh, in 2022, I think this went up 
a couple thousand dollars, you can then pay taxes a, a little bit higher than that because it, uh, it goes up a little bit every year. So basically what they're saying is they want to have high income earners then start paying Social Security taxes again on incomes over $400,000. So they would start paying Social Security taxes in again on income over $400,000. They would pay in Social Security, uh, but they wouldn't really get any benefit on it. It would kind of be like a Robin Hood type of situation where you tax the rich and give it to the poor. They really wouldn't get any benefit on it. There's really a lot of taxes like that, to be honest. Uh, this isn't this isn't the first one, but uh, they would pay into the Social Security tax, but they wouldn't get any benefit on it because they would already be receiving maximum benefit. Remember, when you pay up to that $142,000, uh, that's the maximum benefit you can get for Social Security for that year. Okay, Remember, your Social Security benefits are based on you know, averages over many, many years. But for that year, you've hit the maximum. But with all these people that make high income, and remember, there's a lot of people that make many, many millions, right? Uh, they would pay that tax on all that earnings and, and they would pay in Social Security and all that money would go into the Social Security uh, pot and uh, that would help pay for these increases on uh, a lot of people that uh, you know are much lower income earners as well. And this would help pay for this and, and several other different uh, things in there would help pay for these proposed increases. Can let me know your thoughts on this. Now, here's the thing. The federal poverty level for 2022 has been increased because of inflation. We all know inflation has been crazy. Uh, it's increased here for 2022. You can see here for a single person, uh, the federal poverty level is now $13,590. So if I get my calculator out and I go $13,590, and I divide that by 12, that means it's $1,132.50 a month, okay? Now, this proposal by Joe Biden and is currently uh, in Congress right now, and they're trying to get enough votes to pass it, would be 125% of that for Social Security beneficiaries would be the minimum payout per month. So you would times that by 1.25, and that would be $1,415 per month. Yeah, that's right. So if they can pass this, and like I said, they have about 200 different congressmen and congresswomen under support of this. The bill that has really taken a lot of uh, Joe Biden's plan here and uh, put it into an actual bill, and they're trying to get it passed here, uh, like I said, is the Social Security 2100 Act and would raise uh, benefits to this amount, 125% of the federal poverty level, which would be $1,415 per month on the, would be the minimum benefit for everybody on Social Security. Now, there is a couple other, first of all, you can let me know your thoughts here on this in the comment section on your thoughts on this. This would be the minimum benefits. Now, for anybody that makes more than this, uh, this really will, probably wouldn't benefit you. There is uh, several other things in this bill. It would strengthen Social Security, believe it or not, because it would they've actually figured out the math and uh, it would actually make Social Security last for longer. But there are several other bills here as well. There's one for SSI which is actually uh, right here, uh, that would increase Social Security to 100%. It's called the Supplemental Security Income Restoration Act. Uh, that would uh, SSI right now went up last year because of inflation as well. And the uh, maximum benefit for SSI this year is $841. But this would increase SSI to... As you can see here, at least 100% of the poverty level, uh, a 31% increase from a current levels. So again, the federal poverty level is 13,590. Okay, so 13,590 divided by 12 
would be a payout of $1,132 per month, okay? So if you subtract that from 841, that would be an increase of $291 per month as opposed to the 841 you're getting right now. That would be a dramatic, dramatic difference for people on SSI and uh, disability and uh, you know the SSI program. So you can let me know your thoughts here on that. I believe there's about 8 million people on SSI. You can also see here, uh, there's several other things here. It would no longer include a marriage penalty. It would up the resource limits from $2,000 to $10,000 and $20,000 for couples. See, the problem here with the resource limit is that it's just not enough nowadays. I mean, if you have any type of household emergency, you might not be able to pay for it with only $2,000. And it takes away any penalties on household members. Uh, you can see here there's several different things on the SSI um, program, which is called the Supplemental Security Income Restoration Act. Another bill as well um, that is introduced by Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Elizabeth Warren, and Ron Wyden uh, would be to increase benefits for all Social Security beneficiaries by $200 per month. Um, so this would be a flat rate increase for everybody on under the Social Security umbrella, SSI, SSDI, regular Social Security, VA, RRB. Um, so this would basically be just a flat rate increase of $200. And again, the same type of principles would be where they would basically be taxing uh, people that make over $400,000 to pay in there. Prom maybe some corporations in there as well. It will really come down to what what the bill crafted would be, but there's several different type of proposals here on how they would, you know, implement these type of bills. The bill with the current most support is the Social Security 2100 Act, um, but I do want to say that the SSI Act as well um, has a lot of support as well. That is just for SSI though. Uh, but the Social Security 2100 Act is for uh, all Social Security uh, as well. That does include RRB and VA as well, everybody under the Social Security umbrella. So that is a really, really big uh, bill and would benefit a lot of Social Security people here uh, and really would be a vast, vast improvement for a lot of people. There's a 60 some million people on social security. And we know that with inflation right now, the most recent inflation rating was 8.5% and is just increasing. And uh, that is just getting really, really bad for a lot of people. In fact, you can actually check out this here. Retirees could get the biggest Social Security cost of living adjustment in four decades next year due to inflation. So if inflation just stays where it's at, we could be looking at an 8.5% cost of living adjustment. That could actually be one of the highest ever, ever. Remember that last year, the COLA raise, the cost of living adjustment raise was 5.9%. But current inflation uh, is 8.5%. So the COLA raise next year could be 8.5%, which could be a huge, huge, massive raise if inflation stays at the same rate. If it increases, we could be looking at a 9% raise or who knows, even higher uh, based on current inflationary rates, which are absolutely just out of control right now. Uh, yeah, you can see this headline here directly from Yahoo. That could be uh, the largest cost of living adjustment raised for Social Security, everybody under Social Security umbrella, in 40 years or even potentially ever. Ever. Yeah. Yeah, so really there's a lot of different things going on here with Social Security and inflation and uh, stimulus. Uh, we have a lot of states passing stimulus checks, the federal 
government considering a fourth stimulus check. And I just did a really good, uh, really big video on that. A lot of states are actually passing stimulus checks. Uh, I'll link you to a video here I just did on that as well. Um, believe it or not, multiple states have passed stimulus checks here on the state level and the federal government considering it on the federal level here as well. So uh, make sure to subscribe down below to our YouTube channel. It's completely free to do so. I will keep you up to date here with everything you need to know about on a daily basis. You can click here to watch my newest video next. And you can click here to see all the states and the federal government that has just passed and are proposing new stimulus checks here. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.